All right, let's talk about some uh, productivity when it comes to highlighting and using our tools in Acrobat. So you'll see here we have a document open in Acrobat 10 Professional. And right off the bat, you have the fit the page view here. You have the continuous view here. And you can magnify and reduce size here as well. These two are very nice because it brings you right back to where you are or where you need to be. Now, when you are getting ready to look at a document, and scroll through it. For example, here it's a little tight to read, so I'll just use my uh, continuous view, and we see it's a lot easier to read this. Now, another thing I want to talk about is how can you be more productive uh, when you're reading uh, documents and you need to take notes, and perhaps use the traditional highlight metaphor. Well, we're going to look at the comment panel over here on the right. I click on that, and if you look down uh, in the document you see there are no comments associated with this document so to the extreme right here we have a little options pull down and we're going to go to commenting preferences for a minute and take a look at these now in commenting preferences you have uh, your basic preferences for the font types and some other things that are uh, pretty valuable here but what I do want to draw your attention to and this is for your personal productivity you can turn on copy selected text into highlights cross out and underline what this is going to do is allow you to actually uh, lift what you highlight into a separate commenting layer so make sure that's checked we'll click OK and now let's see what happens as we move through the document you'll also notice up here your quick tools you have the highlighting tool available to you highlight text and the pop-up sticky note tool here as well you'll also see them over here so they're available to you in a number of different ways if you want to give yourself a little more space so I click on the highlighting tool here and I want to just pretend that this is something that's important for me as I'm reading through my content and I'll highlight that now you'll notice also that the comment layer as we float on top of what we've marked up will, will appear inside the comment panel but you'll also see in this particular case that the line breaks are not as you would expect and here's something you can try before we go any further, let's click the Tools menu and let's look at the Accessibility pull-down. Now, if you don't see the Accessibility tool right here or the Accessibility Tools, you can go up to the upper right corner and make sure that it's selected right here. We're going to do something called Add Tags to Document. Adding tags to a document uh, gives this a little more functionality for reflow and for using in a variety of situations beyond just accessibility so I click add tags to document and Acrobat looks at this for a minute and evaluates the source and after a few moments you'll see a uh, recognition report we're not going to go into this it's not critical for what we're doing in this particular exercise so we're going to close that and now we're going to go back and use that same tool here the highlighting text tool and highlight this content again and watch the difference now when I highlight this you'll see that that content is now able to flow properly in any different uh, format that we may place it into so we've pulled those fixed line breaks out of the document this is going to be useful later on so let me move through this keep working in comments and uh, moving through the document a bit more this could be important for me I'll grab this and again notice I am NOT necessarily having to take any notes one drawback and you'll see this is that you can't do this with uh, images so I could for example grab this and you'll see I'll leave anything that's considered an image or in this case the text is considered an image uh, in this particular case because of the uh, nature of the uh, equation editor here in the document so this is uh, something we can uh, come back to in a minute to show you how you could in incorporate this but nevertheless this is great for text work only so many of the documents you look at will involve just text uh, reading and take advantage of that highlight tool to pull this material out so we look over here now in that comment panel and we see that we have uh, in this case picked up uh, three highlights now when you have highlighted this text material you can pull the uh, panel in the little menu in the upper right side of the panel and let's look at the comment summary create comment summary option we can choose to 
have comments all by themselves on a new PDF. We can have lines connecting to the actual page information. And we can also have sequence numbers, depending on what we're trying to do. Now, I'm going to stay with comments only, and I'm going to use kind of a large font size here. And I can set the paper size and, and sort, but I'm just going to create this and see what happens. It creates a brand new PDF with all that content pulled aside here. Now this, like any other PDF, can then be saved out as a Word document or used. Things can be copied and pasted as you move forward. But let's leave this open and let's go back to that original uh, document that we've been looking at, in this case the research report. It could be that I need to incorporate in my note taking, I need to incorporate uh, something like this. For example, I need this graph, I need the information uh, that goes along with it. So what I'm going to do here is use something called the snapshot tool. I'm going to take a snapshot in the PDF and I'm going to highlight what I need to incorporate in my notes. So I'll drag something like that. Now it's been copied to the clipboard. What I'm now going to do is go back to my uh, summary of my comments and I am going to choose File, Create, PDF from Clipboard. And you'll see now that I have pulled the contents of the clipboard as a PDF. Other things to try with the Create menu is to try creating from a selection capture. You have screen capture, window capture, selection capture. You can even work from web pages as well as scanners. But let's look at selection capture because this is kind of cool. You click on this and you simply take what it is you're looking for, drag a box around it, and in one shot you've got yourself a PDF. And as you saw earlier, I can then tile these. Now I've got a few things here, but so I'm going to tile vertically and take advantage of this particular PDF that contains the copy clipboard information. I'll use my pages tab as we saw before and I'll just take this and I'll pull it into my summary or my uh, highlighted uh, content for my note taking. And I could rearrange this and drop this in and I could then take this and close this and move forward with the content that I have right here. I'll maximize that and you see now that I'm building a new PDF, just extracting the content that I need from my original PDF, uh, or in that case, you know, a collection of PDF documents. A very cool and easy way to work with Acrobat without having to rekey in one little bit.